So there is my solar array. I got uh, 16 panels. They're 345 watt solar worlds. Um, let me show you my uh, my uh, board inside. I have four more over, three more over here. Those are Coleman's. So here is my board. So the solar panels come in off the solar array in two different strings. They come in through that box right there. They come down and they go into this Morningstar 600 volt charge controller. And right now they're just passing through. It passes through and goes up and goes into the Fronius inverter. So I'm grid tied. Now there's no sun, hardly no sun out. So I'm only producing 864 watts. Um, but if I were to lose power, the grid goes down, solar panels shut down, Fronius inverter shuts down, so we can't shock nobody on the line, working on the, on the electrical lines. And if that's the case, then I can flip this switch on this morning start charge controller, the transfer switch, and now the solar panels will come in, and instead of passing through and going to the inverter, it passes through and comes down here into my battery bank. Battery bank powers 6,000 watt Ames inverter. So I'll have battery, uh, power if the grid goes down. Three panels, the three Coleman panels you've seen out there um, are coming in and powering that little micro inverter. That is generating about a 17.4 watts right now um, again there's no sun outside so i usually see about 150 to 180 watts coming in off those three panels um getting in uh, a wind turbine from uh, missouri wind and solar so i've been keeping track of the wind collecting data to see make sure i have enough wind in my area Hopefully that'll get here soon, and when it does, I'll do an unboxing. Here is my wind turbine project that I got going on right now. Again, the wind turbine is not here yet, so um, you see my other video with the with the, the board for the wind turbine and the rectifier cooling used out of an old computer that I had. Um, it's all set up right now, other than the turbine. Let me turn the switch on. So that's uh, off this battery bank here. And when that project gets going, I'll make another video for that one.